We're gonna create a form, and then we're gonna lift it. The paper I'm using is Arches, Winsor & Newton's professional colors. So Winsor yellow, Winsor red, and Winsor blue, green shade. Two brushes. One is one inch flat brush, and one is the clicker feet. Let's talk about how to use this brush, how to prepare the brush. When you get a brush new, or the brush already dry, open like this, and you see the brush at the hair is all open, right? There's a lot of air in over here. If you can paint just like this, put a little color over here, and then you expect it to, to be able to paint. You cannot paint like this, because only wet a few hair on the side over here. So you're not gonna listen to you. You cannot be affected. What you're gonna do, you're gonna put it, the whole thing in the water, and you're going to moving around, let the water get inside the brush, fully, completely. And then you put it up, and I want you to use your two fingers, the thumb and the second finger, and you get it up and squeeze it, squeeze it again, and put it in the water, and get up, squeeze again. One hand, you soften the brush here. Second, you remove all the air out from the brush. So now it's just the hair and the water. You see that? The brush really sharp. There's no air inside the brush here. And now it is ready to be used. This gold hair brush can lift up the color with no problem. The lifting technique is very important for watercolor. If you have any questions, please ask, and then we're gonna discuss. I also have a calligraphy brush. How we're gonna draw that? Just use a little light color. I'm gonna put my hand over here. Think about where we're gonna put the whole head, right? I'm gonna put my whole hand over here. So think about where is it? So before you preparing your painting or drawing, you first prepare in your mind. It's very important, right? So I'm gonna put the top over here. You think about, should I move it a little bit higher, a little bit lower? You make it up, okay? This is no standard, but what you like. I'm gonna put the top over here and put the right side over here, maybe the left side in the middle over here and have the hair coming up like this. It's getting really crazy like that, right? But, and the bottom would be here. So the whole form, the shape, the outline of the hair will be like this. How about that? That's my drawing. And I'm gonna have, uh, say, the shoulder over here. Here you go, like that. Just do a little quick drawing. You know, using watercolor is as easy as you are going to use the uh, graphite. And maybe you think about, yeah, right. Um, it is, I can erase it even easier than your eraser. I take it that you're silent, take it that you agree with me. Okay, you say, oh, I, I don't really like this. Can I remove it? You see that? Is that easier than your eraser? <laughs> it's actually easier. And then I'm gonna dry it. Oh, uh, if say, I want to completely dry it, that's fine. Get a little tissues. Here you go, tap on it, just like a brand new. I'm going to use my flat brush to wet the whole thing. You don't have to go with the reference. You can do whatever color you want. What I'm going to say, what I'm going to do, doesn't matter. Let's put the color over here. How about that? Just be a little crazy. And I'm gonna have a little purple color, how about that? Like this, right? You don't even know, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have it there. All right, that's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna soften this a little bit. I think this is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna brush it a little bit and maybe add some water in here, make it a little bit softer. And maybe over here, soften it a little bit. Splash some water. Okay, that's good enough. How are we gonna mix the brown color? I'm gonna take the yellow color. 
The brown color is a very similar to orange color. It's just a little bit darker up there from the orange color and also a little bit blue color to it. Right? When you get it to the orange color, it's almost like light brown color. Is that right? Just need a little bit blue color. I already see some blue color over here and get a little bit more red. So this is the brown color. We're going to start from a little lighter brown color from the top. And here you go. And a little bit more red. Looks like a little bit too much yellow, right? Put it here. You don't need to rush. Okay, like this. A little bit more red. Coming down over here. Here you go. I'm going to have the hair come out a little bit later. I'm going to come in over here first. And then coming on this side, think about the egg shape. Think about the video that I that I make for you is the egg shape. On this side, it will be much darker, right? So I'm going to have a little bit more blue, a little bit more red. Here you go. It's much darker color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on this side. Now it create a form, create the illusion of a three-dimensional. Right, like this. Take a look at the form of the hair. Now here you go. The first thing you need to do is create a, a illusion of a three-dimensional, like this. Now looking at it, oh, whoo! It's dark enough. We want to make it. Make sure I make it dark enough. If it's not dark enough, we are gonna come back to glaze again and again. Now this is, looks like a very dirty gray color. But when I'm looking inside there, it looks like a little bit red and also a little bit yellow. But careful, every time you add the yellow, you make the color lighter. Okay, I think this is good, a little bit red. I'm going to put a darker color over here. Here you go. So this is the foundation of our painting. I'm going to put a little color over here, a little color over here. And don't worry, we're going to make the illusion of the hair, focus on the form of the head. And since I'm doing this, I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm also going to put some uh, blue color. And if you have the red shade blue, you can use a little red shade blue and just put it into the space of the hoodie. Okay, I'm going to put it over here. So they are kind of merged together at this point. Okay. I'm going to just, just put it right here. Here you go. Like that. And on this side, like this. And on the other side, I'm going to have a little bit lighter. But over here, I can see a little catch the shadow. Just use the corner of this flat brush. You can very easy to control the form, the shape. Okay, now I'm going to have just a little bit the red shade blue color and a little bit red and I'm going to just tap on the light side. Okay, I'm going to put on the, the color on the shoulder as well. Like That's good. A little bit on this side, have a little blue color and put on this side. And I'm going to wait until you drive before I come back to make the magic. First, I'm going to use lifting to return a little bit lighter edge because we want to see a little reflected color, right? So I'm going to just use the clean brush. And when you do the lifting, you can control how much you want to lift. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to use like a half of my brush. I'm going to leave it like this. Just put the water and I can just use the corner of the brush. Just do a couple of times. Okay. You don't want to do it more because the reflected colors is not really that light. So I'm going to just lift up the color like this from the side. Now that's good. I'm going to start do a little lifting from the top over here. I'm going to just use the edge. Just use the side like using this angle. And I'm going to lift a little bit smaller shape. 
I'm gonna start lift a little bit like this and one two three four time it would already lift up a little bit lighter you see that that's the hair but if you don't have the foundation of the wrong head when you lift it you will deliver an impression of on the fresh space coming down a little bit and that's good and then coming over here just put it light I'm gonna coming over here just start lift a, li lift a little bit on this side make a little lighter I'm gonna show you okay I put it in here and then I just slide on the top just let go enough and that is how wet is it now I'm gonna put it right here like that and I have the hair coming down this way like this but sometimes you don't want it too wet because you want the shape a little bit more defined in this case squeeze a little more and then I'm going to do it again now this time and it's just going to not about applying water but instead I'm actually losing the color and making the color lift up the color I'm going to just lift up one tiny hair you see that you see that little tiny hair I can lift it up like that like a magic by using this large brush I'm going to lift a little hair over here it's very much what I have been doing is to organize the method and process across multiple medium doesn't matter oil or watercolor or garage or, or whatever that would be it can use the same kind of thinking process okay like that I'm gonna have a little shape over here come down so sometimes you don't want it to be too wet because you want the shape a little bit more defined like that and this is the beginning of lifting now I'm going to add a little bit yellow and the red color add a little blue in here now I'm going to add the shape in here okay a little shape coming out over here now you add the shape so from here coming up like this here you go like that add a little shape into here and this shape actually coming in I soften the edge of the hair over here and now the little hair over there I need to use the calligraphy brush so that two brushes is kind of hand in hand taking care of every little purpose that we have like that we just start adding some shape but we're going to add and we're going to remove let me show you how I would be able to add the tiny shape just use the calligraphy brush I'm going to take this I'm going to coming over here here you go and coming in like that coming another shape over there here you go but you don't have to make it to exactly look like the reference I'll be a little bit free like that I'm gonna have this a little bit darker at the bottom is has a little bit shape the form like that and you also can add some of the shape into the painting like that should be a little bit more shape over here I have a little sh shadow of this group a little shadow over here now also going to do a little lifting for the hoodie so I'm gonna just lift up a little color over here here you go now I'm gonna have it lift it over here very easy like that every single small group of hair has light and shadow right but however all those groups need to obey the big form the big form with the whole head right now I'm going to coming over here this is actually the lightest area for the entire head let's just use the corner after I lift the color 
The color looks a little bit dull, lost the freshness. And what you're gonna do? And you're gonna add some fresh color back to it. For example, a little orange color, right? So I'm gonna add to this a little orange color, maybe a little bit red. And here you go. I'm gonna have a little bit orange color, but also add a little blue color in together. Now I'm gonna take a look over here. For example, you have the color like that. You now use the calligraphy brush, and I'm gonna add the uh, fresh color back in here. Leave the the light shape, and then coming down over here, continue, and have that fresh color that make it less dry. Okay, coming like this. And we're gonna add the darker color a little bit later. And over here, I have a little bit of fresh color coming here. A little of fresh color like that. And come back with a little moisture, the color a little bit. And make it feel like less dry over here. That's good. A little impression. A little fresh color. And here you go. I'm gonna add a little color back here. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit red, a little bit red, which is now it become the light brown color. So I'm gonna have this a little color like that. So see the shadow of that little color, a little here. Also, the calligraphy brush also can lift up some color. Now I'm going to add a little darker color, a little bit darker, doesn't really need a lot. I'm going to add a little bit color over here. At this point I'm going to give some shape, a little bit orange color. A little blue color. I'm gonna come back here. Actually, I want to add that color back in here. We organize the whole shadow side. You have to keep coming back again and again to the the whole shape. Now I'm gonna giving a little bit deeper color, washed into the whole shadow. <laughs> 